So the next step of making more horsepower is to pram more air and more fuel mixture into the motor and that'll make more horsepower because you're, you're putting uh, more more air, more fuel gives you more horsepower. So what we have is a jet kit. Now the jet kit is a kit that has a emulsifier tube that will mix the air and the water better. You have a bigger jet here that will skeet more fuel into the carburetor and then we have a big, epically big uh, air intake. Let me show you the difference in the air intake here. Oh gosh, I'm only taking this thing off once. Mm. I mean, what do you think is going to breathe easier? I mean, okay, you see how small that air intake, that hole there is? And look at how big that is. Okay, let's just compare the Venturi's here or the whatnot. Uh, you see how big that opening, you see, let me show you. This is the adapter that's going to go on it. But do you see how small and restrictive that is? And you see how big that hole is? Which one do you think is going to cram more air into the engine? This one right here. Now I got this kit from OBM Warehouse. It cost me $41 for this and this. And we have uh, various components and parts for the carburetor here. And uh, adapters. There's a choke kit there. And so I'm going to show you how I put this together. And we have another gasket here. Nice little kit. 40 bucks. You get a lot more horsepower to your engine. And so, because we're, we're cramming more air and more fuel into the engine. And, uh, well, we can just leave that off. And uh, let's, go get our, let's go get our wrenches, and we'll start uh, taking this apart. That's 10 millimeter. A lot of 10 millimeter bolts on these little motors. Fuel is off. I'm going to uh, just sh shut it off there and just see what we can do there. Great thing is you can just do these mods right here while your boat's mounted up. You ain't got to take it off and take it inside or anything. Just shade tree style, you know. Okay, so now that's that. And I need to have, um, got this guy right here. take these little boats and stick them right in here because I don't want to lose them. Whenever you're so that way they're all there and you know where they are. Um, so here we have the vent for the um, we'll get some get some pliers here. We have the vent for the fuel tank is what this is. It needs to come off, and we need to take off the breather for the uh, for the crankcase breather. So just take a little knife. Don't want to cut it, but just sort of a spoon or a knife, something blunt, and just push that off, and that should give you more clearance to get to the uh, fuel tank vent. Again, if you just wrestle it here, get it pushed up against there, pull it back it'll come on off. Again, that's just the vent for the uh, fuel tank. Now, it should come on off here if we just keep wiggling it and working it. Be careful. Don't want to damage the uh... There we go. So we have to pull it out here. Now notice this stud here is a lot uh, smaller, but they include a longer stud so it would fit. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And, and, and what you can do with the originals, you can either sell them on eBay, because there's probably somebody who would buy them, want to use them, or you could just uh, keep it stock whenever you, if you ever wanted to. Let's say you had to build a new motor, this motor blows up or something, we could just build a new motor. And um, here's our gasket. Um, okay, now, there we go.
go. There's our gasket. And so, again, this is uh, probably a, a bigger stud. Not sure how to get those studs out of there. Uh, probably have to take off the carburetor itself and then uh, remove the stud from back here and put it back on. But we're going to see. Okay, so this goes on one way. If you miss a line, and it's not going to work. Again, let's compare the, the Venturi here. This is a cone shaped. Let's compare the uh, uh, you know the size of the intake here. It's just much, much to me. It's much uh, bigger. And here. On the other side, <clears throat> it appears to be uh, kind of hard to say. Let's see. Let's see here. Is that bigger? It's almost exactly the same size on the back side here but the front side here is much much bigger whereas here the front side of this is far bigger than that so you're you're definitely going to have more power because you're accelerating the air more you're going from a big intake and it's tapering down so let's just get back to here and get this line take an allen wrench bolt to uh, tighten that on up but as you can see what this will do is fit right on where the carburetor or the choke is it just provides a little bit of a cap there for the choke as you can see there put the choke back on properly this fits right there as a cap that way it won't pop off and just a little Allen wrench to, to tighten it, and so you'll be good to go. If you can get just a, barely a little bit of lip on it, and just, just barely get it started, and you might do all right. So that's what we're going to go with. So, the, uh, gosh. That was an adventure, and uh... okay, just. There's just barely enough to get a grip on it, and that's that's good. So we're going to go with that, and we're going to get our air filter here, and uh, okay, yeah, we, we need to get our uh, our uh, clamp here, so, so you can see it just fits there. And uh, like so. And there you have it. You're on, fuel on, fuel off still works. Okay. And maybe a little bit of clearance issue there, but I think for the most part you're good to go. I'll put that all the way back there. Okay. And we'll just tighten that down and we'll be all right. Let's see if it's the same. No. No. 
Somewhere in between always. Now we can just use this guy here. I've never liked clamps like this. It's always very inconvenient to use.